All right, y'all, what is going on? Kind of excited about today, kind of not excited because here's just the, the honest truth about this. Ever since I filmed that video in John Hines like months ago, I have been coming back to John Hines trying to catch snakehead and I have come up empty every single time. I've even been with uh, people who've caught them. So John in my first video here caught one, which really turned me on to them. And then my buddy Pablo caught one. So I've got to get my own. And I've been coming here a lot and I've ended up empty handed every single time. So I went on a bit of a Bass Pro Shop spree. Bought a ton of tackle that's supposed to be good for snakehead from what I've read. So we'll see if any of this works. I also brought, bought a new rod. <laughs> but it ended up being broken when it got here. So I'm still using my ultralight combo, which is not good for snakehead. So I've got a lot going against me, but we'll see. I am really hoping today changes things for me because the snakehead has become my equivalent of the, the Moby Dick. So just so many days out here where I haven't caught it. Enjoy. All right, baby, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna use this rod to throw out some of my new stuff that is supposed to be good for snakehead. I'm keeping the Helgramite on this guy. The reason I keep the Helgramite is a lot of the stuff that's good for snakehead, it's like a retrieve type of stuff. I've got, I need some water to bring it in. So if I'm in tight quarters where I can't really bring it in and I need a drop floor, I'll be using my Helgramite. We'll see if that pays off. No idea if it will or won't. I've not been good at catching snakehead. Is that it? Dang it. <laughs> well, it's not our intended species, but we'll take it as a good start to the day. <sighs> no sun, so y'all don't get a good look at this guy. But, uh, nice little large mouth. We'll take that as an encouraging sign that maybe the fish are hitting today. Still not what we want, but encouraging sign. I mean, I'll never not take a bass, but I'm just so set on getting a snakehead. Uh, one large mouth had a second one on he was pretty big and then uh, he jumped and got off this is what somebody told me to use for snakehead so uh -huh. that'd work we'll see hasn't worked yet my rods there but other than that no other rods I am so determined to get one of these today There it is, snakehead. Yeah. Dang it. I mean, I, I said in the beginning of this video, like I will never be mad about catching a bass, but I have got to get these snakeheads out of the way so I can enjoy these little guys more. It's a bummer when you can't find one species like specifically. Yep. And you're catching like everything else. Right. Yep. Like that day we were going for like that carp, and it was just like trout after trout. And like, no. Yeah, that was, the thing that was different about that was I knew we were gonna get you a car. Like that day. There's a big bluegill. That's a hog. Little double hookup. Dude, um, also the fish are super active today. Are they? Yeah. Well, they're definitely active. Looks like there's a million over here.
there you go. Might need a little help with this one. <laughs> Do I got the thing far enough for you to land him? Actually, they can just pull him up. Come here, buddy. All right. No denying, Pablo, the fish are active today. Let's get me that snakehead. Not bad size. On the ultralight, really fun. That could be what we're looking for. It was black. There's a nice bass. There you go, Pablo. That could have been what jumped. He's a nice size. He's a good medium sized bass. That's that's really good on that Euro tackle too on that uh Antipisa bear deck. Yeah, hold that one up. That's worthy. Hold that one up for the camera. I wonder if that was what we saw jump. Yeah, he's pretty good. I'll tell you, man, those bass, like, there's probably people that are watching this and are like, dude, he's not that big of a bass. And and he's not huge, but like on those ultralights, dude, they feel really, really good. Yeah. Is it worth even throwing over here? Probably not, but. Uh-oh. That's a really, really nice bass, though. Pablo, I'm gonna need your help. I'm going in there. I know. I'm going in there. <laughs> what do I do? He's stuck. What do I do? There you go. <clears throat> Pablo, you got any shot of getting him now? Uh. Help. This is a Delco Nashville line first. This is our biggest combined bass, I think. Okay, we'll look out because there's a little thing. Oh my gosh. Where's the net when we need it? Flip them, Jim. It's your fish. <laughs> That's a good bass. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need your picture with that one. What a day, dude! That's a that's a good one. That's ginormous, dude. He's, that's a twenty. That's a twenty in. No, uh, greater on twenty. <sighs> dude, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, do you have enough pliers on you? Uh, I do. Give one look to the camera. See that guy? Oh, let's let him go. You ready, bud? Probably tired as I am. Uh oh. Uh, uh, there he There he goes. He's a little tired. All right, y'all. So I just uh, changed my batteries. Uh, the GoPro died. It's extremely hot out. Actually, I think it overheated, but it's about to die. So I changed them anyway. Um, but I really thought that was gonna be the snakehead. It wasn't. Thankfully, Pablo was here to help me. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to land that on my own, um, just because of, with the grate and everything, it makes it really tough. So um, when I released him, I should have waited a little longer. He's still a little tired, but he did swim all fine. It just took him a minute. When I put him in there, it took I think, think him a second to catch his breath and everything. So pretty good catch. I'm happy. Now where are these snakehead?
Is that you, Pablo? What is it? What? It's a what? Nice, dude. He choked it. I got your rod. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, dude. Here, you want a picture real quick? Yeah. On video, too. Oh, yeah? The benefits of fishing with me. The only benefit. Yeah, dude, looks good. What? Was there a snakehead with him? Basketball? Yeah. Oh, I like that cast though, even if that's not where you wanted me to go. Oh, oh, see it? See it? Oh, whatever it was, not on there anymore. Let me try that again. Could be some sunnies or crappie too. No, I mean they just bit mine. Oh, look, right there. You see that little black piece sitting oh. in the middle? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I see him. Oh! Wow. Oh, dang it. I had something on, but... Is he gonna go after it? I had to because I had something on. But I went by him. Like, that's why I, like, jigged it the way that I did. Let me see. See that? Snakehead. Nah. There's a nice bass though. Bang bang bird gang. Look at that dude, some got him. There you have it. Go birds. Right, Pablo? Sports. Size comparison. <laughs> yeah, there's another one out there. I know, look. All right, buddy. You... Thanks for playing. All right, calling it a wrap on today. Pablo joined us uh, pretty early in the video, like right before I recorded the intro. And uh, yeah, we had a great day of fishing. Just, I'm still not catching snakehead. So I'll make you a deal. Anybody out there can get me on a snakehead. In Delco, I'll give you three Delco Nashville line approved lures. See y'all.